To make a color wheel using GIMP, what we're going to do is start off with a new blank file. So we'll create new, file new here, and we'll just go 640 by 480 is fine. Click OK. Then what we're going to do is we're going to take and make sure we have the layers palette window showing, and that's under docs, layers if you can't find it, or control L. So now that we have that, we're going to take this layer and duplicate it. And we'll click the eyeball behind the other layer so we can hide some things. Now they take the circle tool, the circle marquee selection tool, and we'll create a fairly large circle here. And then select invert. So we have everything selected except the circle. And then I'm going to hit the delete button so that it clears this circle out. But first, before we ha do that, we need to add the alpha. So let's go under layers, um, let's go transparency, add alpha channel. Now I can take and I can delete that. Now let's go select none. We can take this circle and we'll duplicate it twice. So now we have three circles here. Take your move tool move it off to the side, take the other layer, move it down a little bit so the three layers overlap. Now take your fill tool and then select your color and we're going to select the color so that this one is all green so 0, 2, 5, 5, 0 and then we'll take and click OK and we'll take this color here and we will fill it and then we'll select the next one down and we're going to take it and we're going to make it all red so 25500 zero, zero. and we'll fill it and then we'll take the last one and we will take it and change it to all blue take this one down bring it down click OK so our colors are 00255 zero, zero, and click it there. So we have all three colors here. You can see some of them are hidden with each other, but that's okay. Now what we're going to do is we'll take each of those layers and we're going to duplicate them again, but we're going to put them so they're in order again. So I have blue, red, and now I need to grab my green one, duplicate it, and then I'll drag, click. I'm just clicking and dragging it down. So I have blue, red, green, blue, red, green. So they're same order on top of each other. Now watch what happens when I take this back layer here. I'm going to turn it back on so it's a nice white background. And I'm going to turn these ones off. They've already lined up so it's not going to make any difference. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to change this layer, the green layer, so that it is now the subtractive color. And then I'm going to take this one, the red one, and make it also subtractive and then take the other one and make it also subtractive and you notice what happens is you end up with cyan red black sorry magenta red black cyan blue black and yellow green black these are the primary colors using CMYK now if we go the other direction and we turn these around to addition and we turn this around to addition we turn this around to addition you'll notice that it totally just disappears so let's take away the white and we'll see what happens here well it all looks really weird so let's turn these colors back on and you get the other color wheel going the other direction now we have the black on the outside. So let's make a new background here. And let's just fill it with black. See if this one, it, well, it doesn't go away. But we have that one there, because that's adding it to the normal here. So if we do a black background, let's take this and move it all the way black. And let's fill it and turn it on. So with the black, our color wheel looks like that. 
and that's how you'd make an addition additive and subtractive color wheel using GIMP.